Now the latest in the attack on a Las Vegas judge caught on camera last week. The defendant back in court on Monday coming face to face with that same judge. Kena Whitworth joins us now with more. Good morning, Kena. Robin, good morning. But this time there was added safety measures and security. Deobra Redden returned to court where an injured judge, Kathy Holthus, handed down his sentence for prior crimes, but it's not over for him. He'll see a different judge today for charges in that dangerous courtroom attack. I want to make it clear that I am not changing or modifying the sentence I was in the process of imposing last week before I was interrupted by defendant's actions. This morning, the Las Vegas judge, who was attacked by a defendant in her own courtroom last week, now sentencing that very same man to up to four years in prison for his original case. Any other issues that may arise from the events that occurred last Wednesday will be handled at a future date by a different court. The defendant, 30-year-old Deobra Redden, surrounded by officers and seen shackled, wearing a spit mask and orange mitts, didn't speak during the brief hearing. He now faces several new charges, including battery of a protected person, intimidating a public official, and extortion. Last Wednesday, chaos erupting during Redden's original sentencing, a repeat offender who had pled guilty to an April battery charge. Redden asking Judge Mary Kay Holthus for leniency. I feel that, like, I should be, like, sent to prison for a second time. The judge reminding Redden of his lengthy criminal record before denying a request for probation. Three felonies, a gross, nine misdemeanors, multiple DVs. Got a lot going on, sir. Moments later, Redden leaping over the defense table and the judicial bench, landing on top of the judge, sparking a brawl with Holthus, a court martial, and a clerk, all sustaining injuries. Redden's family telling our affiliate he had suffered from mental illness. I just think his reactions were not premeditated. It was triggered because he seemed to have been pleading for his uh, his freedom. Now, judicial safety is a concern across the country. At the federal level, more than 1,300 threats were made against protected persons, and that includes judges in 2022. And, Robin, what that doesn't include is judges at the state level. Mm, but, Kana, those threats have largely moved online. Yeah, Robin, they have. And since they shifted online, there was an assessment done in 2021, and it actually found that the marshal service lacked the resources to even adequately assess them, and that ultimately a judge's safety is at greater risk when they're outside the courthouse. My goodness. Guys. All right, Kayla, And you know, Robin, you. we just saw this week that swatting attack on the judge overseeing mm -hmm. exactly. Donald Trump's case in Washington. This is mm -hmm. just not stopping. No, it's not. And that's why Judge Salas, who we know, yeah. has been very outspoken about um, protecting these judges in various mm -hmm. states. As she, as she should be. Mm -hmm. as they all should be protected. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.